echocardiographers suffer from neck pain. This is often caused by overuse of the upper trapezius muscles while maintaining your scanning position. In this stretch, we simultaneously open the chest while engaging the lower trapezius muscles, both helping the neck to relax and improving posture. Hi, Maxine. Hi. Have a seat. We're gonna do some stretches for the neck. So as an echocardiographer, you spend a lot of your time, one arm over your patient, and your head turned looking at the screen. So that causes two problems, right? We have an imbalance of effort, right? And then all of that stillness is also a problem. It creates a lot of tension. So what we need to do is counterbalance. So if you spend a lot of time turning your head to the left to look at the screen, I want you to double up your stretches turning to the right. The other thing we need to do is just get equal movement going on both sides to rebalance all of that musculature. So we're gonna start with a stretch for the front of the neck. So place the hands on the sternum and you can put your fingers just over your collarbones and kind of glue your hands almost like they were a, an octopus kind of suction cup onto your neck. And then we're just gonna draw the sternum down and lift the chin up, beautiful. That's gonna put a lovely stretch through the front of the throat. And we can explore up there a little bit just by tipping the head. And I want you to really follow the sensation. So where you feel an angle that's really pleasant and giving you lots of lovely feedback, take a moment there, take a breath. And really just enjoy the sensation of the front of the neck opening. Beautiful. You can bring the head back up to neutral and relax the arms down, well done. The next thing we wanna do is some side flexion. So again, with this one, we wanna start with nice kind of rocking, smooth motions from side to side. And I want to encourage you not to press your head towards the earth. So gravity will always take your bones towards the earth. You don't have to help. Your job is to stay nice and tall in your spine and just allow the head to move sideways with as little tension as possible. How's that feeling? Really nice. Good. So just starting with something really soft like this is a great beginning. And now if you have the time, we'll take it a little bit further. So bring your head over towards me. Good. And notice that you can see both of Maxime's ears. So she hasn't rotated her head. Okay, so now she's gonna take her left hand over onto the side of her head. Good. Now this hand is not to pull the head down, it's to provide some resistance. So she's gonna bring her head back up to vertical with this hand providing a little bit of resistance. 30% effort, it should feel easy, but you should be aware of the muscles on this side working. Fantastic. So she's just gonna allow those muscles to work and then soften back into a gentle stretch. And here, this hand can encourage the head to move out towards me. Beautiful, let's do that one more time. Gently pressing into your hand. And releasing into the stretch, beautiful. Good. And whenever we're finished the stretch, we always wanna finish on the active side. So we're gonna press the head up and release. Great, and have a little wiggle. Beautiful. Let's do that one on the other side. So you're gonna take your right ear over towards your right shoulder, add the hand, and then we're never crushing our joints down. We're always thinking about sending the head up away from the spine. Great, and she's gonna bring her head up to 12 o'clock with the fingers providing a little resistance. Beautiful. And then relaxing into the stretch. Thinking of this top hand providing support and traction instead of a downward force. So I want you to feel those stretches gently. Lovely. Good. And she's gonna move back into the stretch once more. Fabulous. Notice her feet are planted on the floor. You could do this standing, but it's a little more relaxing, I think, to be seated. Lovely, and she's finishing on the way up. Beautiful, I'm releasing that head down. Great work, give that a little shake. All right, and we've got one piece left. We're gonna bring the hands to the back of the head. 
Good. Now this one is an activation for the muscles on the back side of the body. So right around the low trapezius muscles here. So I'll do this one from the side so you can see in profile. We're going to imagine that somebody's going to put their finger on your nose and you're going to try to whoop, move your head away. So we'll make a little double chin. Good work. And as your head presses into your hands, do you feel some activity? Yes. Right around here. It doesn't need to be screaming hot. It should just be an awareness. Lovely. So we're just going to allow those muscles to activate. And now keep the connection of the back of your head into your hands and we'll look down at the floor. Good. Let the head move forward. Allow your elbows to drop down. And again, be sure that the hands aren't pushing the, the head towards the floor, but instead they're gently tractioning the back of the neck. Beautiful. And you could hang out down here and take a few nice deep breaths. Good. Have a little bit of a wiggle if that feels good. Just move slowly and softly. To come back up, press your feet into the floor. Whether you're sitting or standing, that works beautifully both ways. Good. And feel the head float right back up. Good. And release the arms down. Good. Let's just circle the shoulders and shake that off. Well done.